Fabian Cousteau is over halfway through his 31-day underwater living experiment off the Florida Keys. Well, this week, the research team from Florida International University actually left the Aquarius, and then there's a new team from Northeastern University joining him. For more on how his study of coral reefs and the oceans themselves are going, he's joining us live this morning. Fabian, good morning. Good morning, Al. How are you? Well, I'm doing great. Question is, uh, how are you and this new team doing? Uh, what, what's, their, what's the makeup of the new team? Well, we're very excited to have the new team from Northeastern and MIT. And I, I, unless I miss my guess, either those are very good-looking guys or, or, or you have ladies down there. <laughs> Actually, it is. Uh, there are two ladies, uh, Liz McGee and Grace Young, who are joining us uh, for the second half of the mission. That's Now that you're halfway through, uh, how has it been going? Uh, it's been going great. We've had a, a couple of days of uh, slow progress because of poor visibility and lots of current. So uh, it is uh, more than halfway past, and I'm getting uh, a little nervous that we don't have enough time. So we're going to double our efforts in the second half. And we just saw some video there. You were actually painting underwater with ocean art artist, famed ocean artist, uh, Wyland. Wyland. Uh, yeah. Uh, what was that like? Uh, it was a it was a neat experience. Uh, he it was his first time painting underwater, and uh, it was uh, one of my first times. And it was the first time in Aquarius that uh, there was an underwater painting happening, and it was all in tribute to my grandfather and the legacy of Aquarius. What kind of paint do you use to paint underwater? Uh, you paint with oil. Uh, these are water-based oils. Uh, it's not easy. It's, it's certainly an art and a skill. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Hey, you also met with Dr. Ray Johnson from Lockheed Martin discussing renewable energy. How did that go? Well, uh, Dr. Johnson was an extra special visit. Uh, we were able to talk a little bit about the future of ocean exploration and education, as well as renewable energies and how that can really bolster both of those things. Uh, it, was, uh, it was quite eye-opening, and we hope to work with them in the future. And then, Fabian, really quickly, uh, uh, the oceans in the news, President Obama coming out this week planning to create the world's largest marine protected area in the Pacific. That's got to give you a lot of good hope. It, it absolutely was a huge boost in morale. Uh, it does give us a lot of hope. I'm a big proponent of leading by example, and President Obama announcing that was uh, a monumental uh, success. Uh, let's follow through with that and do many more. All right, Fabian Custo there. Uh, thanks for br give, bringing us an update. We'll check in with you next week.